Hello everyone. In this class, we will learn the graph f of x equals to x and its behavior. See, here, this is the graph of y equals to f of x. Here, what is f of x? f of x is x. So, we are drawing the graph y equals to x. If we discuss its properties, this function is defined for all real numbers. So, what is domain of this function? Domain of this function is all real numbers. For you take any real value of x, respect to y value we will get. So, domain of this function is all real numbers. What is the range of this function? For this function, range is also set of all real numbers. Because f of x is x defined. You take f of 1. What is f of 1 value is 1 only f of 2 value, 2 only, f of 3 value, 3 only. So, this whatever real value you take, f of x will give the same real value. So, that's why its range is r. Now, we will check whether it is a function or not. Why after domain and range I am discussing this? There are some graphs. We can draw the graph but they are not functions actually. In later on classes, you will get more clarity why we are discussing functions, especially for a curve. Now, if you take, a, if you draw a vertical line to this, it cuts the curve at only one point, then it is a function. What is the definition of function? For every element in domain set, there exists a unique element in core mindset. So, if you draw a vertical line, if it cuts the curve at only one point, we can understood that it is a function. See here, if we draw any curve, what happens? It cuts at only one point. It can be understood easily. So, is it is a function? Yes, it is a function. Now, is it is a 1-1 one -one function? What is the definition of 1-1 one -one function? Different elements in domain set have different images in co-domain set. For that, we have one shortcut that we will draw horizontal line. If the horizontal line cuts the graph at only one point, we say that the function is 1-1 one -one function. See here, if we draw one horizontal line, what happening here, it tells you that for respect to x value, it is giving only one y value. That means, if you take uh, two different values x1, x2, x1, x2. Respect to images are also different. So, to check whether it is a 1-1 one -one function or not, you draw a horizontal line. If it cuts the graph at two points, we say that it is not 1-1. One -one. If it cuts the graph at only one point, we say that it is a 1-1 one -one function. See, if we draw the graph, it cuts the graph at only one point. So, it is a 1-1 one -one function. Yes. Now, is it is a onto function? Yes, it is an onto function. For every element in Codom mindset, there exists at least one PMA. Suppose you take one element here, for respect to this element, you will get a corresponding x value here. If you take one any y value here, respect to x value will exist. That tells you that for every element in Codom mindset, for every element in Codom mindset, there exists at least one pre in domain set. So, what we can say, it is a onto function. Is it is bijective function? What is bijective function? A function which is both 1-1 one, one and onto is called bijective function. You check here, it is a 1-1 one, one function and it is a onto function. So, definitely it is a bijective function. We know that inverse exists only when the function is bijective. See here, this function is bijective function and it's inverse, yes, it's inverse exists. And what is inverse of this function? You can observe that it is an identity function. See, if you take f of 1, you will get 1 as f of x is x. If you take f of 2, you will get 2. f of 3 is 3. So, what you can identify, it's identity function. You know types of functions, identity function. So, as it is identity function, 
its inverse is itself that means f inverse of x if f of x equals to x its inverse is itself because it is an identity function identity function is inverse to itself now continuous function is it is continuous function observe the graph of this y equals to x observe the graph is there any gap in the graph on its domain its domain is all real numbers on its entire domain there is no gap so this function is continuous this is continuous function yes this is a continuous function is it differentiable function is it differentiable yes it is a differentiable function because we know that every polynomial function is differentiable or else uh, limit extends to a f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a exists then we say that the function is differentiable at x equals to a you take a is any real number then you check it here limit x approaches to a f of x is x f of a is a divided by x minus a both will get cancelled what you will get limit extends to a 1 we know from limit step to it is 1 only that means limit exists limit exists it is differentiable and the derivative of x is 1 so this function is differentiable yes it is differentiable function what about its maximum value of the function and minimum value of the function from the graph it can be understood easily for this function there is no maximum value as bigger value x you take that much bigger y value you are getting y values as bigger value of x you take that much bigger value of y we are getting so so this function is having no maximum value no maximum no maximum and any minimum value are there no no minimum no maxima and no minima no maxima and no minima for this function is it is even function or odd function how to check if it is an even function or odd function see we will calculate f of minus x what is f of minus x when f of x equals to x what is f of minus x f of minus x is minus x that is nothing but minus f of x so f of minus x is a minus f of x so what it conclusion that it is a odd function because f of minus x equals to minus f of x so these are the informations which are useful to solve the problems quickly in g advanced and g main examination see and we'll discuss now graphical transformations how the graph transforms uh, we'll discuss see here you observe in this see f of x equals to x f of x plus 1 properties we can easily say by drawing the graph of x plus 1 see this is f of x equals to x graph as we discussed earlier f of x plus 1 that means added 1 to this when we add 1 to this just graph moves one unit upward direction the same graph this this is the graph this graph moves one unit upward direction see here first graph is what f of x f of x is equals to when we add a to that function the graph moves a units upward direction here we added one so it moves one unit upward direction similarly we can draw the graph of x plus 2 also see what is the graph of x plus 2 this same graph moves two units upward direction that means you will get like this this is the graph of x plus 2 so what i want to say in this graph when we add a to the function the graph moves a units upward direction you take this one f of x equals to f of x minus a then the graph moves a units downward direction you observe here x minus 1 actually this is the graph y equals to x x minus 1 is the graph which moves one unit downward direction why we are discussing these things as we discuss the domain codomain range maximum minimum continuity differentiability all those things for this graph when we can draw the graph of this function for this we can say what is maximum minimum continuous differentiability all those things we can discuss like that in the series of videos we are going to discuss for all other uh, complicated graphs also continuity differentiability all those things at the time if we draw the graph by uh, seeing the function uh, we can easily discuss its continuity, differentiability, limit existence and all right. However, uh, now come to this f of x minus 1. f of x is x minus 1. That means the graph moves one unit downward direction. 
right when a function f of x is multiplied with uh, a constant see a into f of x here i taken 2 i multiplied this function with 2 2 into x 2 into x see actually this is the graph y is equals to x right yes this is the graph y is equals to x what happening here when we multiplied with a and a is greater than 1 you stretch the graph to units along y axis see here as it is uh, here it is a simple graph we can understood f of x is 2x when x is equals to 1 when x is equals to 1 what is y y is 2 so see x is equals to 1 this is the point x is equals to 1 y is equals to 2 when x is equals to minus 1 when x is equals to minus 1 y is equals to minus 2 see you will get the graph of y equals to minus you can observe that this is stretched two units along the y axis now uh, one more graph here and a is less than one we will shrink the graph that means we will reduce the graph along y axis see here in place of uh, uh, a if i write one by two one by two is uh, less than one one by two is less than one so then what happens what i want to say here when a function is multiplied with a number which is greater than one it stretches along y axis when it is less than one it reduces along y axis see here f of x is equals to 2x is the actual graph we taken uh, f of x equals to x is the graph we taken when we multiply with 1 by 2 1 by 2 is uh, uh, less than one so if we draw the graph you can observe it it reduces it reduces the graph this is the graph of y equals to 1 by 2 into x uh, later on in whatever other graphs we will discuss in this you will get in that you will get more clarity what is the use when we multiply with a function if we can draw the graph immediately we can discuss the things easily right now f of x equals to minus x f of x equals to minus x it can be understood easily f of x equals to minus x is the graph which is a straight line passing through the origin and it, uh, the graph will be there in second quadrant and fourth quadrant it can be understood easily take some x values respect to y values you observe the graph you will get in the second quadrant and fourth quadrant i hope you find this video is useful and later on this is the graph one further in later on classes we will discuss a few more graphs for all these properties we will discuss for all those graphs if you want to follow my classes, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video.